Hey everyone, welcome to Scatterbrain Entertainment. I'm your host Tremel, and guess what? Nintendo is facing criticism. Again. Now, one thing I'll say about Nintendo, they get a lot of criticism, and some of it is legitimate, and some of it is not. People criticizing them about the whole voice chat feature missing in a lot of games, that's legit. People complaining about um, the lack of certain competitive aspects in games that should have them, that's legit. But the most recent complaint isn't really legit at all, I'm sorry. The most recent one is that people are complaining that Nintendo did not do a very good job at E3, saying that they expect a lot more from them. Really? Since when? I didn't hear about nothing like that. You know, up until this E3, what I heard everyone talking about and asking for, and me myself included, was to get some information about the upcoming Star Fox game. They had announced last year that they was going to work on a Star Fox game and we wanted to get some confirmation that there was really going to be a Star Fox game. And that's all everybody was talking about. So when E3 happened, what was the first thing we saw from Nintendo? Big old Star Fox presentation. Showing us all the stuff that's going to happen with the game. And I loved it personally. You know, a lot of people were saying, well, it just looks like another Star Fox game. Well, every Mario game looks like another Mario game, but they'll add stuff to it to make it a fun Mario game. So, hey, with the features that they added in the Star Fox game, which you'll be able to transform your, your different uh, ships into alternate forms to be able to do perform other tasks, that I thought was awesome. I'm not really too much worried about the storyline, because the storyline, you know, it's the same as always. Andros comes, fucks shit up, Star Fox team takes him out, end of story, you know. But as far as the gameplay goes, it looks like it's going to be a solid Star Fox game. And then they showed up a few other games. They did the... Uh, showed us more about how Mario Maker is going to work and a few of their indie games and just stuff that's happening for this year. And people were upset. They was like, we wanted to see more. How come Nintendo didn't show us more? How come they didn't talk about the new NX project? How come they didn't talk about this? How come they didn't talk about that? I'm like, you guys do realize that this is all stuff that you're asking for that's going to happen next year. Here's my thing. Why do people want to know about what's going to happen next year when E3 is an annual event? It's not like this E3 was the only E3 to ever happen and whatever is not said here will never be said. No. Whatever is spoken about E3 should be pertain to what happens during this year. You know? For some reason, people think that it's legit that Microsoft's only real game that they announced is a game that's not going to come out until Christmas of 2016. A whole year and a half from now. Which means that that game is so far ahead that they'll be able to talk about it again in next year's E3. To me, that is a letdown. A letdown is talking about something that, that is so far ahead that you have maybe one or two other E3s to talk about it with. Nintendo did exactly what they were supposed to do. They talked about what was happening this year. People were like, oh, well, Nintendo doesn't have that, many, that much things in the works. No, they have a lot in the works, but some of their projects is gonna take quite some time to finish and be able to bring to us. E3 is about talking about what's happening this year. Everything that you're going to do up until, well, the next E3. You shouldn't be making announcements about something that you're going to announce again at another E3. No. You should talk about everything that's happening right here. And I think that's what people are missing here. And they're throwing criticism at Nintendo for no reason at all. Nintendo stuck to what they were supposed to do. Microsoft didn't. A few other companies didn't. They announced projects that are so far ahead in the future that they're going to be able to talk about them over and over again until they're blue in the face and we get tired of hearing about it. Nintendo, they didn't do that. They just talked about what's happening now. So, if you're a Nintendo fan, or you know, really can't even call yourself a Nintendo fan if you're complaining about this, I mean, chill out. They're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. They're bringing us everything that we asked for, but I noticed the big problem with some fans is that they get what they ask for, and they still complain. And you wonder why Nintendo ignores half of the suggestions that we make. It's like if everybody's complaining all the time, why should they bother listening? I wouldn't. If no matter what I did, my fans complained about what I was doing, I wouldn't listen to anything that they said because, hey, you're going to complain anyway, so why bother? So seriously, if you are a Nintendo fan, chill out. They gave us all the information that we need to know about what's happening for this year, and we'll find out about next year, and guess what? Next year's E3. That's kind of how it's supposed to work. But hey, until then, you know, be happy with what we got. Besides, we got a lot of solid games coming out. A lot of mainstream games, a lot of third-party games, a lot of indie games coming out. Um, plenty of stuff 
for us to for us to stay entertained with. So, you know, there's nothing missing. And so for anybody still complaining or anybody who just wants to complain, just remember this. If you complain about everything that ever happens, no one's ever gonna want to hear you out. Just that's this just the way it is. So, you know, complain when there's legit reason. Nintendo gives us legit reasons to complain, just like every other company gives us legit reasons to complain, but it gets overboard when you complain about everything, okay? So just chill out. So with that being said, of course, subscribe or die if you haven't done so already, and like and share this video, and leave comments telling me about what you thought about E3 and what you expect from Nintendo, and if you expected more or if you were fine with what happened. Okay, so until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves.